I've got a new item here and if we have a look we can see that it's a product variant and we have dimensions and I have one dimension which is size so um, and not using all the variants but it, it could be using all the variants. Now if we have a look at the on hand inventory we have um, no inventory in this stage. Now sometimes when you order and have product variants uh, as in the case with this particular product we have uh, three different variants. Sometimes when you order these from a manufacturer they need to become in a set so I need to uh, order a certain mix of small mediums and large for examples. Now in the retail area of AX you have the ability to set up a retail package for replenishment. So if I go into retail here, go down into setup, we have replenishment product packages. And so here I can specify a uh, package. Um, give it a name for example. And I can specify which vendor I use or reorder these from so I can say it's uh, this vendor for example and so from here I can add the products and I can pick uh, for example uh, the dimension so in this case I'm only using size on this one so um, now I can use the add products button that'll give me the um, wizard uh, approach to add the variants but I'm just going to add them manually in this particular case for the sake of the exercise. So we'll see that we now have small, mediums and large and so if I have to buy them in a package um, sometimes the supplier says that combination. So in this case I'm going to order uh, a factor of 10 large, uh, a factor of 8 medium, a factor of 5 um, small. So this would be the factor that you'd be putting in. So once the package is created, if we go over to procurement and sourcing, um, I can go and create a new purchase order for this supplier. So I can pick up that supplier that we specified. I'm going to put my site and dimension in site and warehouse. Now ordinarily on a purchase order line I could manually create those um, line items and specify the site but now that we've created a package I can go to the purchase order line and then say create from package. So this will show me the packages that are available and so now I can say how many packages that I want to order. So let's say for example I'm going to order uh, two and then I can say create and so we'll see in this particular case then um, our quantities have been multiplied out by the factor that's in that package and you'll see that you can't um, update the quantity manually here on these lines because these lines are now linked to the package. So if you have a look at the product packages you'll see that we have a package here of two. Now you also see that you won't be able to remove these lines manually uh, because it's related to the package nor you'll be able to delete the purchase order because you can't delete the line. So at the line level um, you can um, delete the package. So if I do for example pressing Alt F9 on the keyboard it'll say do you want to delete the package from the line so we'll say yes um, and we'll say yes so this will allow us to remove the package from the line. So if we wanted to put it back um, we could specify to here again and then do a create. So this will get, a, a, a get us our line quantities back. So that's the best process of setting up a package and using it just for, to simplify the order entry process in this particular case of the combination of products for the product variant.